all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you uh, we are back again um after i finished today um, doing my broadcast a muslim lady she contacted me with her husband and uh, they are shy to call on air and um, they don't want to speak in public and i understand uh, so we had a, a little conversation together and they wanted me to explain few things in order to make decision either to stay in Islam or to leave Islam and this is where why I am here back again I'm really tired but just for the sake of helping someone it's all right the first thing they, they said to me you keep saying that uh, the word Tawheed uh, it's not a uh, uh, word mean one it's mean you unity unification well you know what uh, as you say this is your Islamic website, alislam.org. Alislam.org. I hope the address is clear. And you can, you know, by the way, if in, or, in order to find anything I show on the screen, you just, uh, you know, like uh, uh, freeze the screen and type the exact same words. Like, let us say, uh, if you if you go and take this line and type it in your Google, you will find the website. Just to find the same exact article very simple so you will see here with me in the top it says unity of Allah Tawheed each time I say to a Muslim that you Muslims when you say Tawheed you don't believe in oneness of God you believe in unity he said to me no it doesn't mean that uh, you are a liar Tawheed mean oneness of God but my friend, as you see, this is your Muslim website. Here, the Muslim trying to explain to you that this is about the oneness of God. But if it's the oneness of God, how do you say unity? The word Tawheed, if you if you if you take the word unity right now and search for the meaning of it in English, you will see it's speaking about unification of a whole thing. unification of something in whole which means if it's one you do not need to make a unification i will go right now and i will search in google for unity whatever you know uh, whatever google give me we will take it the state of being united or joined as whole like european unity so they are european but there is unity so they are a whole group and now they became a unit all right union unification interrogate whatever you know so union notification unification is what is unity unity so when you Muslims you say I believe in Tawheed you don't believe in one God you believe in unification all right and here, you know, they mentioned to me the, the debate they saw yesterday. Uh, and actually, they are upset from the Muslim guy because he said many stupid things, as I explained. And they, they were really upset. They have a bad reaction for what he said in the debate, especially when he said that, uh, you know, not a single Jew for 4,000 4, years believe in other God than the God he'd been ordered in the command to worship. So look like this debate will make some Muslims leave Islam and that is very good now here you will notice with me Tawheed in the Holy Quran the unique etc so they are giving you he is the only creator guys didn't us we have a, a, a we ask a Muslim what is Tawheed he said to believe in the oneness of one creator but how that can be if the Quran says there's many creators that is stupid to say that can be possible if you believe it truly that there's only one creator but the Quran says there is he is the best of the creators so either you have to say that Allah was exaggerating and he is lying saying he is the best of the creators but yet there's no best there's no other creators or you have to admit that there's a creator that the Quran confirmed that Jesus was given the ability according to you Muslims to be creator too but Allah saying he is the best of the creator so if Tawheed mean unification and to worship the only creator well jesus is the creator and allah is a creator according to you so you have to worship jesus 
However, you know, I notice always that Muslims, they focus in the silly stuff. And I will explain to you what I mean. When, when you debate with a Muslim, he tried to say to you how God can be a man and he is God at the same time. The second you say that, you, you are a question how God can be God. Because what make God that he can do what nobody can do? Are you questioning based in your ability or based on the ability of God? Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? When I say how God can be a man, I am asking God how he can do things. Is that is that logical? How you can do that? But so why you why you call him almighty? <laughs> so they are very silly. You see, they 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 try to be a people who use logic, but they have no logic. Their logic is against the God nature because you are saying to me how God can be God. How God can be two? How God can be three? He is God. This is why we call him God. The second you say he cannot be, it's mean he cannot be God too. So they focus in what is silly and they run away in what is important. An example, let us see what is important. The important that Allah, when we heard this guy in the debate and they were asking me about the, the uh, uh, why I said he made many mistakes and I will I will uh, correct him like what I told him about he said that you cannot be one but yet you occupy two spaces you cannot be one yet in you are in two shape you cannot be one but yet you are in two individual or two person this hadith in front of us saying that Allah have two shape so is he one or two now if he cannot be in two places, in two shape, this is what this uh, the guy, he said in his debate. That a person, he cannot be in two spaces. You cannot occupy two spaces in the same time, yet you are one. So now Allah have a shape. And he come to them in a shape other than the one so which means obviously is different space too the, the, you know how how we can have an other shape it's mean you have different space otherwise you are just a copy of the other shape and there's no reason for them to refuse you regardless what the shape is about big or smaller doesn't matter it's different shape different shape different space so allah come in a shape and he have two shapes so allah is two now Yet they say to us, we believe in one God. Okay, Allah is two person now. What happened to the first shape? Allah now, he come to them in this shape. And the Muslim, they reject him. What happened to the shape, which was the previous shape? He killed it. He burned it. He sold it. No. The shape is there. And the proof, Allah will come to them again. After he come back with the, you know, first he come with this shape. The Muslim, they, they say to him, we seek refuge with Allah from you, which means they consider him shaitan. Then Allah, after the Muslims kick him out, for he is not in a good shape, they like, maybe have a big belly. He will come to them in the shape which they like or which they know. So now what we confirm in this, that Allah have two shapes in the same time. He is two, but yet one. Is that why you say we believe in Tawheed? This is how silly they are. Their religion is just a, a, a collection of contradiction. You are making a big fuss about God is one, but and God cannot be a man, and God cannot be a, a human, and God cannot be like us. And then we find that your God, Allah, is just a normal physical being. He have no spirit. He is a physical being. And not only that, he have a shin, he have a hand, he have a leg, etc. And then... Allah is not only the, the not the only creator in the world, which is a total contradiction for anyone who believe in one God. Because the sun, you, the, the second you agree that there's more creators, is the same time you are telling us there's more gods. The second you say to us that Jesus was able to create from the mother bird, you accepted Jesus as a creator. Regardless if you believe Allah is a creator or not, you just believe that Jesus. You tell me that Jesus was. Given the ability to create by Allah, doesn't matter. 
because that will not change anything even if there's no proof this is a claim in, in, in the Quran that Jesus Allah by the permission of Allah he was given the ability to, to create but for the sake of argument he was given ability to create will not change anything because still he can create he received the ability he became a creator thank you very much so now we have two creators how you say that he is the only creator that but yet you are saying there's many creators and how Allah he says he is the best of the creators yet but there's no other creators if Allah is God he should not lie because if there is no other creators that's mean he's a liar how he say is the best of the creators yet there's no creators is that to prove to us that he is the best but in the best of nothing this is stupid it's the, it's stupid to say I am the best of in mathematics, but I am the only one who's who who knows mathematics. It is a big fat lie to say I am the best student in the classroom when I am one student in the holy classroom. Your God Allah is a liar. Is then if 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 you don't accept there is other creators in Islam, then you you have to accept that Allah is a liar. Then if we continue. When the Muslim they say Tawheed, what is Tawheed? Is Tawheed is an idea that is only one God? I mean, this is very silly because if there is one God or not, will not change the fact that you Muslims don't obey God and the proof in front of us. You see, if you ask Muslims, when we say Tawheed, what does that mean? Does that mean you have to obey Allah only? They say, no, we have to obey Allah and the Prophet. Chapter 3, verse number 32. How you believe in one God and yet you have to obey Allah and the Messenger. Why Muhammad here he added the word obey the Messenger? Isn't it obeying Allah is obeying the uh, obedient to the Messenger anyway? You know, I, you know what I mean, guys? Do Muhammad need to add the Messenger there? He's confirming what exactly? If the Messenger will not teach anything except what Allah said to him. So why he need to add his name next to the name of Allah? If the prophet he speak for Allah, why I need to add my name next to the name of Allah? This is shirk. Islam is not a religion. Believe in one God. Muhammad now is God. The, in, in, you are sharing the authority of obedience to a man and to a God. You see? If Jesus was just a prophet, I am not going to obey Jesus, I obey God. You know what I mean, guys? If Moses is a prophet, I'm not going, I'm not obeying Moses when I obey the law, I obey God. Are we following? People, are, are you following? If if those if this lady and her husband, if you want to say something, you can text me. So to be obedience to the man and to God, that's mean. And who's talking though? They, they, they say this is Allah. Allah he is sharing his obedience with, with a man. His name is Muhammad. Why I need to obey Muhammad? Who's Muhammad? And in fact, in Islam, if Muhammad he says something and Allah says something, the Muslim they follow Muhammad and they reject Allah. In Islam, if you curse Allah, you will give him three days to, to repent. But if you curse Muhammad, if you say a bad word to Muhammad, you will be killed immediately. So who is God in Islam? This is a pure plus I mean, against God. And this is this is not monotheism religion. This is a lie. So they focus in the silly stuff about God being a, being a man. But Jesus, the man, he can never commit sin. Jesus, the man, he can create from the mother bird. Jesus, the man, he can make the blind see. Jesus, the man, he is alive until now. Like... You remember only that he's a man, but you forgot all these things about Jesus, that he can forgive sin, he can make the blind see, he can make the, the, the one who cannot walk, walk. He can heal the leper, he can create people, create from the mud and a living creature. He can make, he resurrect people from the grave, and now he's alive. And you remember only that he was a man? In the same time, you remember that Allah is God, and he is the only one to obey, but you remember that you have to obey Muhammad beside Allah. Who is Muhammad? Muhammad is just a messenger to deliver a message. Why you need to obey him? You obey Allah. If the message is the message of Allah, I do not need even to put the name of Muhammad there because anyway, this is Allah giving me the order. Are we good to go? Guys, are we good to go? Any confusion? Let us continue. 
What a stupid religion. You know, they have a big mouth speaking about Tawheed. And you see, Muhammad, he keep insisting in the Quran. Chapter 3, verse 132. It's not like only once. It's all over. This guy, he have to, to he is focusing himself. How many times Allah need to say that? Even Allah is saying to the Muslims, if you want to be, if you want me to be merciful on you, you have to obey Muhammad. Read carefully. And obey Allah and the Messenger that you may obtain mercy. So if you obey Allah alone, you don't get mercy. Why? Muhammad is a man. The Muslim they say, Muhammad himself, he said, Adam Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Okay, how am why you are insisting that obedience to Muhammad, who is a sinner, the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a sinner. Isn't it the Quran? Confirm that uh, Mr. Muhammad is a sinner. Hmm? Read with me carefully. Chapter 4, verse. Uh, 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 106. But anyway, let us let us go to somebody. It is some, there's something more important. Uh, <clears throat> oh boy. If we go. We can find many verses in the Quran, everything I'm showing you huh, is speaking about that. As an example, this is the chapter of Muhammad. The chapter is about Muhammad and for Muhammad. Chapter 47, verse 19. Read with me what it says. Know therefore that there is no God but Allah and ask forgiveness for your fault and for the men and the women who, who believe. Okay. Allah saying to Muhammad, you should know that there is no God but Allah and ask for forgiveness for you and for the believers from the men and the women. So he, how he is saying to you, obey a man, he is sinner. How that can be? Obedience should be only for the holy God. In different hadith, it says, or different uh, a verse in the Quran. Let us show you this one. Hold on. Actually, all the verses we are showing, they are good to go. But let us see this one. In chapter 48, verse number 2, it says, May Allah forgive thee for the past and the coming sin. Look, but, but then, this is the problem. How you are saying to me that I need to obey Muhammad, and you confirm to me that Muhammad is a person who does sin. Guys, what sin mean? What sin mean? Sin is somebody doing wrong, correct? Is that correct? And it's wrong is sin in the eye of God, which means it's really badly wrong, not just the wrong. Like, I can do wrong when I'm installing a machine. I can do wrong when I am opening uh, the door, I break it. I, but this is not really against God. Wrong sin, the word sin, is doing wrong against God teaching. So as long Muhammad and the Quran confirm that he is a sinner and he is doing sin, how the Quran give us a blind order to obey the Prophet and to obey Allah? Are you getting the point? See, Islam cannot cannot stand a deep conversation. Islam stand in a silly, stupid conversation. How Jesus can be God? He's a man. Do you understand? They focus in the silly stuff. It's the same when Jesus, he said, before you go and tell your brother about the little thing in his eye, what about you see the big tree in your eye? 
obey Allah and the messenger okay how I want to obey Allah and the messenger but the messenger is a sinner man how you are making it as a condition that I cannot obtain mercy unless I obey Muhammad and yet you confirm that Muhammad is a sinner man are we following guys do you see how stupid and how silly the idea what is the Tawheed what, what is the oneness of God everything in Islam is based on Muhammad you see when somebody want to convert to Islam is it enough to say I believe in Allah alone no you have to say I believe in Allah and his prophet Muhammad you have to put the name of Muhammad in the in the side why I search to see if I can show you something in English. And I found some stuff which is really important to share. I have like, a, there's more important reference, but I'm trying just to share the English one, all right? This is the oneness uniques of Allah Tawheed, the book of Al-Bukhari. Do you see it? The book of what? Al-Bukhari. The topic is what? Tawheed. So we are in the same topic. We are not out of the topic. Perfect. So this hadith is mentioned to what? Mentioned to speak about Tawheed, which is unification of God, who is not one, obviously, because you cannot unify, you, you should not need to unify a God He is one. The Prophet said, the Prophet said, do you know what Allah write upon his slaves? I said, Allah and his apostle knows best. And this is the first proof that you Muslims don't believe in Tawheed. How you are sharing the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man? Allah and his apostle knows best? What does that mean? <laughs> you see, Muhammad, if he is a decent man, he should not say, me and Allah, and accept even anyone to say that to him, that me and Allah knows best. If I am a person claiming to be a prophet of God, and you say to me, Elohim, and you know best, that's that's a big deal. I mean, well, how do you say that? Elohim and me knows best. Who am I to put me next to the name of Elohim? Are you getting the idea? Yet they lie to us and they say we worship one God, but they are associating the knowledge of God with the knowledge of, of, of Abdul, who say the most stupid things ever we saw all, all over the Quran and over the Hadith. Then they continue. Muhammad, he said, who is to, who's talking? Muhammad. About what? About the right of Allah on a Muslim. And the topic is what? Tawheed, which means if you break any of those commands, you are not a Muslim no more. Read with me carefully. The Prophet said, to worship him, Allah, alone, and join none in worshiping him. Okay, join none in worshiping him. And you say that the Quran says Allah and the angels, they pray on the Prophet. And you, you force the Muslim to say that to you. Continue. Do you know what the right upon him? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. Again, he said not to punish them if they do so. So if you do what he, what, what, there, what, what he said, uh, he will not punish you. Okay, let, let, let this one go. But look at that, at the coming one. <laughs> let us read this one. <clears throat> Uh, which one we will show you? I have tons of window, windows in front of me. This is the book. Of Ibn Baz, this is the official website of Ibn Baz. Ibn Baz is one of the biggest scholars ever in the last century in Saudi Arabia. Bimbaz.org, S A Saudi Arabia. Do you see the address? Okay. They ask Ibn Baz, "What is blasphemy against God? What will make a person not a Muslim anymore?" He said, "The Prophet said." 
whoever take an oath in the name other than Allah, he became a mushrik. He what? Whoever take an oath in the name other than Allah, he became a mushrik. And this is a sahih hadith. It is a sahih hadith. It says the title here, Al Hadith Sahiha fil Halfi Allah min al kabair. All the reference here in front of us it says whoever take an oath by any name other than Allah, he is a mushrik. That's wonderful. Who said that? Muhammad. Inni Samaitu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul man halafa bi ghari Allah faqad ashrak. That's wonderful. I think the story is clear. The second you say, I swear by any name other than Allah, you are a false person. Okay, then how you explain to me this madness here? Muhammad, he said. <laughs> and by the way, guys, look what the Muslim they say between two bracket. Do you see what the Muslim they do? To cover the poopo of Muhammad, they put between two bracket by error. What error? Where, 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 where do you get this from? Where it says in the Arabic? Here we go. This is the Arabic next to me. Who is the Muslim when I call me right now and show me? It says by error. What is by error? Man halafa minkum faqala fi halfihi billati wal uzza faliyakul la ilaha illallah. What is the error? Liars. So Muhammad he said, whoever among you swear by in the in oath by Allah and al -Uzza, then he should say none has the right to be worshipped but Allah so so Muhammad is saying to Muslims you can take an oath by the name and Allah of al -Uzza, but add add to it at the end none have the right to, to worship but Allah <laughs> but we just saw the answer that Muhammad himself saying whoever take an oath in the name of other God he is a mushrik what is the Tawheed What is the Tawheed? How you take how you say in one hadith you cannot take oath the name in other God, otherwise you are not a Muslim, and then and then in, you say in different hadith, it's okay to say in the and I swear by Allah and how a Muslim, how Muhammad he say that? How Muhammad even allowed himself to swear or to teach Muslims to swear in the name of Allah and Al Uzza. And look, the Muslims they keep adding things between two brackets just to, to cover the ass of Muhammad. Allah Apostle said, whoever among you take an oath, wherein he says, by Allah and Al-Uzza, Allah and Al-Uzza, in case you do not know, those are the three daughters of Allah. The goddess, names of the two idols worshipped by pagans, he should say, none has the right to, to be worshipped but Allah. Okay, hold on. Why Muhammad is saying such a thing? Why he's not saying, don't ever swear by them, and that's it, those are Muslims, they are obedient. Muhammad here is compromising. A prophet of God, he compromised religion of God. And he have no problem that people swear by idols. What is the Tawheed? If there is any Muslim want to tell us where is the Tawheed, there's no Tawheed, it's a lie. All what you need to do after you swear by so now I can swear by shaitan and then I swear I say there's no God have the right to worship but what's so what the point that's stupid so we swear by shaitan and we add that Allah is God that will make it right <laughs> yes do you understand what I'm saying we swear by the devil because Allah wal -uzza, according to Muhammad they are from the devil okay so we swear by the God of the devils and then we add that Allah is God, and that will make the oath right. That is stupid. So you Muslim don't believe in oneness of God. This is stupid. This is you know how you how you say such a thing. You know actually Muhammad once 
he was teaching the Jews sorry he was speaking to the Muslims and a Jew he stopped by and he told him you are a pagan man you don't believe in one God Muhammad he said to the to the, to the, to the Jew why he said look what you say the Jew is schooling Muhammad read with me carefully Abdul A Jew came to the Prophet, who a Jew, and said, "You are setting up reviles to Allah, to God." By the way, he didn't say, you know, to Allah, to God, and associate others with him. So the Jew, right in the front of Muhammad, in the spot, he accused him that you are not a person who believe in the oneness of God. You what you associate others with him it's a clear accusation did Muhammad he say no guys read with me did Muhammad say to him no no he did not say that look the Jew continue saying you say whatever Allah wills and you will the Jew said you say whatever Allah wills and you will and you say by the Kaaba this way by the Kaaba how you believe in one God, but you swear by the Kaaba? What is the Kaaba? Is it Muhammad who said the one who swear by anything but God is is a mushrik? So why you swear by the Kaaba? So the Prophet, you see, the Prophet here, he did not say to the Jew, "You are stupid. You have no idea what are you talking about." He agreed with him. Look what he said. So the Prophet command them, which means the Muslims, if they wanted to swear on oath, say by the Lord of the Kaaba. So the Jew he corrected Muhammad. Which means if the Jew did not say to Muhammad that until now the Jews that the, the Muslims will be following the sinner Muhammad teaching them false teaching about God. Do you see it? What is the Tawheed? A Jew is correcting Muhammad is a prophet. I thought Muhammad is sent to correct the Jews. Is it clear, guys? How a Jew, he is not a prophet, correcting a prophet. And as you see, right away, Muhammad, he changed his rules. He changed his religion for the sake of the Jew. Just because a Jew, he said to you what to say, you agree right away. And you order the Muslims to follow what the Jew said, because this is not the order of Muhammad. This is the order of the Jew. How he is a prophet, yet the Jew is correcting him. Why Allah did not correct Muhammad? Why Allah did not send the angel Jibreel and say to him, Okay, Muhammad, don't say that again. This is wrong. Where was Jibreel in vacation? Jibreel is always there when Muhammad, his penis is, is, is horny. But in something serious, it is a Jew who correct him. And by the way, this is Sahih Hadith. So what we learn from this until now, that, you know, the, the, the idea of we believing in one God in Islam is a joke. Read me carefully. Ibn Omar said, heard a man swearing no, I swear by the Kaaba. Ibn Umar said to him, I heard the message of Allah saying, He who swear by anyone but Allah is a polytheist. Is it is that clear? Anyone he swear by anyone except except Allah is a polytheist. So how Muhammad he said to them, You can swear by Allah. Swear by Allah. How you swear by Allah? Do we have any Abdul? Swear by Allah and Al-Uzza? And you are the one saying anyone who swear by anyone but Allah is a polytheist? Which means Muhammad, this one, he learned from the Jews, from the previous hadith, where the Jewish guy, he came to him, he says, you swear by the Kaaba. 
so Muhammad and the Muslim when they swear by the Kaaba before that Jew he spoke to them they used to be polytheist it was a Jewish guy who corrected them guys are you getting my point or no if there's anyone did not understand as you see Muhammad making it clear anyone swear by anything beside Allah is not a Muslim as simple as that okay here we have a story where Muhammad was instructed by a Jew not to swear by the Kaaba and not to say whatever Allah wills and you will because your will is not important and this is shirk so Muhammad was swearing by the Kaaba the Muslims swearing by the Kaaba and based on this hadith and this hadith Muhammad and his followers were not monotheist they were polytheist Do you see it? Muhammad even instructing the Muslim to swear by Allah. How that can be? How a, how a prophet of God? He teach his followers to do so. Then there is more stuff we can talk about about the nature of Allah, which is very crazy nature. Allah is the creator. He cannot be inside his creation. But then we find Allah is inside the physical being. And then here we find like Allah, he come down every night in the third part of the night to invoke his followers. How Allah cannot be inside his creation, but he is inside his creation. Do you understand? So. If we can come with the conclusion here, we will find that Islam is a chain of contradiction. Nothing makes sense. Nothing have to do with anything. The oneness of God does not exist. The respect of God does not exist. If you take an oath in the name of other God, it's not exist because Muhammad himself, he take an oath in the name of the Kaaba and a Jewish guy, he corrected him. It's not Allah who corrected him. It is not Jibreel. It is a Jewish guy. Where was Allah? He was not aware. And how silly you are in knowledge to the point a little Jew, he correct you and he tell you how to pray and what to say. <clears throat> All right? And again, when I say Islam does not mean, Tawheed does not mean, oneness of God it is a unification it is a unity of a whole parts this is your Islamic website saying the same All right Well, I hope you guys you get uh, you get my idea and you understand what I'm saying, and I hope the lady and her husband who are listening, they uh, they will make a decision, and I will be happy to answer them uh, any time again, and I will be happy if they want, uh, they can contact me in Skype again, and if they decide to leave Islam and they want to learn about Christianity, let me know please, and we will send you to some brothers who can help you in the process to understand the Bible. With this, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Please don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. Islam is nothing but a joke. It's a chain of contradictions, and there's no connection with any part of it. It's like a guy who is collecting donation, and the donation is junk. Do you know that those guys who go on trucks between houses and try to find like some piece of scrap here, scrap there, so they can sell it? That is Islam. Islam is collection of scrap. In better scenario, it is a collection of a crap. Nothing makes sense. Nothing match with anything. A prophet of God who come to us in his stories, which not even donkeys can believe in it. Sexual stories, magical stories, flying carpet stories. A guy who speak to the ants. The ant spoke to him. The ant he has a speech. 
a, a, a king who have a bird who is a who is a minister for irrigation and finding women a dating website I mean finally one thing is right about this guy even his penis is buzz buzz bewitched even his mind was bewitched even shaitan he throw in his in his vein even the Muslims accuse him that he have sex with his cousin and his cousin rape him even the Muslim accuse his wife that his wife she was a whore even the Muslims accuse him that he was a gay even the Muslim they accuse him that is stolen underwear name for me one thing is right about this man just one and then Muhammad he make a, a promise that if he is inventing in the name of God any verses Allah will cut his artery and then Muhammad he die by his artery being cut as he claimed by poison nothing right about this man from the beginning to the end so thank you for being here and please guys download the video it's time for me to go I'm really getting tired I don't sleep good and uh, I hope the gentleman and his wife they listen to me carefully and I hope they will leave Islam by before they sleep today I don't know what the time for them there but I hope they will make a decision today and they will accept the Messiah and I will be happy to hear from them again if anyone have a question please wait for us for the coming British you know uh, like broadcast tomorrow and um, I will be happy to talk to you and to answer you may the Lord bless you all and may the Lord give us uh, uh, the intelligence so we will not be fooled by a child molester a sex offender a person who is promising us nothing but horny sex and big billy I don't want to be in a heaven whereas there is 80,000 women all of them they look the same that is the most stupid thing 80,000 women all of them they have the same face the same hair the same eyes the same height the same name imagine how, how annoying it is imagine you have 80,000 dog all of them they look the same what, what do you want to do with them use your brain if you have one 80,000 little boy who will walk naked around me and they are so white. I mean, this is sick. Child abuse even in the heaven of God. The Muslim, they say to you, they are not going to be used for sex. No, 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 brother, no. But the Quran says, Yen Zifun, which means they will bleed. But even if that is the case, even if they are just little servants, I mean, what kind of God? He abuses children just to make me happy. So to make one person happy, we enslave 160,000 human beings. 50% of them are children and 50% are women slave for sex. That is not heaven, my friend. This is hell. When Muhammad, he promised a Muslim man that he will be 10 times more rich than a king. How stupid that promise is if the heaven is for free. What I would do with the money? What do you mean I would be 10 times rich? What does that exactly mean? Imagine I go to the mall and the, I say there a Ferrari and I say I want to buy it. They say, sir, it's for free. They say, no, 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 I have money. I want to buy it. My sir, it's for free. No, I swear by Allah, I'm going to use my credit card, brother. I have a lot of money. I am rich like 10, 10 kings. Abdul, it's for free. So what do you mean I will be 10 times rich? The Bible says from their fruits, you will know them. The fruits in here is not necessarily just Muhammad action, which is very ugly and disgusting. Even the promises of Muhammad is his fruit. His, his promises is a stupid, is disgusting, is great, crazy. Even Muhammad, he said that in the heaven of Allah, there is, there, is a, there is a bazaar for buying. There is no buying nor selling there except images of men and women. How in the world I'm going to buy? I, I will buy what? image of men and women well, what does that mean <laughs> muhammad he said <clears throat> oh, let me see what is the height i was almost i thought i'm done uh, anyway you see i'm, I'm really tired I'm, I'm done for today <laughs> Let, later we will we will uh, maybe next time so guys think about it use your brain god he gave you a gift it's called brain you are not an animals we are not cockroaches we are not 
even those insects they do what is common sense a human being they don't I don't know what's wrong with them a human being when I follow a man his name is Muhammad just because he promised him that his penis will be long and how long it is endless which is a stupid and crazy and it's actually harmful because imagine how many trucks and how many cars and how many trains is going to step in your penis imagine how many ants and mosquitoes going to bite your penis how you can protect an endless penis are you going to buy a condom fit for that endless penis you have to be endless stupid to believe in endless penis What if somebody broke, you know, okay, what if a Christian prince, he got hold in your penis and he closed the door of his van over it? Hmm? What if he cut it off at the end and he started giving it to the cats? How you can believe in this garbage? So they focus in, brother, Allah is one, brother. We believe in the oneness of God. But they don't focus in the most stupid things. Okay, let us say you believe in one God. But what kind of God this God is? Who promised you such a thing? You see, who care about how many gods there is? If there is gods, there is gods. If there is somebody believe there is seven gods. huh? And then we find out that there is seven gods. That will not change anything that there is seven gods. So believe in one God or two God or five God or 20 God or one billion God that is not going to change anything if they are there They are there if not they are not Having a false God is the same as equal to have 1,000 false God because at the end of the day both are false So believing in one God is a, is is is, a, is just you trying to put yourself in drugs to say to, to yourself Oh, I am I'm a person who believe in God brother. Yeah. what a big deal There's tons of religion believe in one God. So but who is your God? Look at the promises of your God. Look at the teaching of your God and you will see how silly stupid he is. Garbage in, garbage out. And actually one of the reasons I don't want to convert to Islam because I'm scared, especially when Muhammad, he said that the women, she have an ass of one mile size. I'm scared of that. What if this woman, my wife, she decide to spoil me and she decide to, ju she, to jump to sit in the top of my lap I, I will be I will be dismissed. I will be I will demolished. I will disappear. What if my wife she have one mile ass and then she decide to fart? And I am smoking a cigarette. I will be burned alive. In case you do not know, fart is a flammable. Very dangerous. One mile ass. I mean, this is God. Seventy years orgasm. I mean, really, really, I'm convinced that Allah is must be God. Look at these promises. It must be from God, man. Come on. Think about it. So I want to say thank you guys for uh, uh, for for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord and Muhammad is a joker. And we are here to get him busted. Thank you. And God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night.